In this video today, I'm gonna to give you the 10 things you gotta know before moving here to Maryland. You know, I've done a video like this in the past, but I really wanted to update it because let's face it, making a move to Maryland is a big decision. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump into this right now. What is up everybody, it's Adam Taylor with the Relentless Home Group of eXp Realty. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel and you're looking to learn all about Maryland, hey, great news, you're in the right spot. We do videos each and every week talking about living here, working here, commuting, going out to eat, and most importantly, getting out and enjoying the amazing state of Maryland. So if that is your, the information that you're looking for, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the little bell a click, that way you're alerted every time we put out another video just like this one. Now right now, I've got to be honest with you, we are receiving so many phone calls, text messages, and emails from people all over the world looking to make a move right here to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, my team and I, hey, we'd love to help you in that transition, but we need one thing from you, my friends, and that's for you to reach out to us to start the conversation. So please, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or fan us down with that smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to Maryland. So let's just jump right in and start talking about these 10 things you must know before considering a move to Maryland. Now make sure you stick around to the end because I'm telling you the last two are the big ones, the big rocks, the keys, and really what may influence the move as to whether or not you do decide to move to Maryland. Well, my friends, here we go. Number one, and it's a, it's a typical one around any major city, but the traffic here in Maryland, quite honestly, is a pain in the neck. And that's because Maryland, let's face it, butts up against two major cities. You've got Washington DC down to the south, and then you have Baltimore. Now, Interstate 95 runs directly through the state of Maryland from uh, the Maryland-Delaware line all the way through DC into Virginia. So Interstate 95 quite often is backed up, especially during the holidays or the weekends. In addition to that, you have beltways around both Washington DC, which is 495, and Interstate 695, which wraps around Maryland. And then <laughs> in and out of Baltimore, you've got Interstate 83, as well as Interstate 70 that goes out to the west. So quite honestly, get used to sitting in traffic, or if you are, hey, you know what? You'll be right at home here, but I do wanna make you aware, your commute times are gonna be longer. You're spending more time in traffic when you move here to Maryland. Second thing you gotta be aware of, the weather. Here in Maryland, we have the ability to experience all four seasons, which is absolutely fabulous in the right times of the year. However, on the flip side of that, you may experience all four seasons in the same week. Yes, you heard me right. Say in early March, you might get a day when it's like 80 degrees during the day at the beginning of the week, and then by week's end, we've got snow in the forecast and flakes are falling outside. So you could experience and will experience all four seasons here, but you could do it actually in a week. Now let's talk about those seasons. What are the extremes? In the wintertime, we've had blizzards here, okay? I can remember back in high school and being off for well over a week because of large snowfalls that we accumulated in the late 90s. Now, let's flip that around. Let's look at summertime. How's the summertime here? Number one, humidity absolutely sucks. <laughs> let's just face it. Your shirts, if you go into work one day, are gonna be soaked, okay? And uh, it's gonna be sticky. It's gonna be hot and heavy. And if you're not used to breathing that humid air, it's gonna be a shocker to you, my friends. And those of you with pets really gotta take this into consideration as well. Now, let's stay here with the weather because number three kind of parlays right into that. We are on the, in the mid-Atlantic, right along the uh, Atlantic Ocean border. And number three is we do get hurricanes. And it stinks. And knock on wood, thankfully, we have not had a hurricane wipe us out here lately. But if you look at the East Coast, we're smack dab right in the middle of it, and we could get and have gotten 
major hurricanes that will come right through and really uproot things. Now, the good thing is if you decide to live, you know, Baltimore to the west, you're going to be somewhat protected by the eastern shore of Maryland, okay? However, if that hurricane decides, hey, I want to go right up the Chesapeake Bay, take cover, my friends, and watch out because hurricanes are no joke around here and we can get just as much damage from a hurricane, say, that hits in Florida, Louisiana, right here in Maryland. Number four, airline travel. Here in Maryland, the major airport is Baltimore Washington International Airport. Now, DC has two airports. They've got National and Dulles. But if you live around the Baltimore area, there are a good hour plus to get to, especially Dulles, if you need to travel. And I would only use those airports, particularly if you live right by DC, or if you're traveling to some international location that is only serviced out of Washington, DC. Now, with that said, Let's talk about Baltimore because most of you are probably going to be traveling through BWI that do travel. Here's the good thing. We are a hub for Southwest Airlines, but the drawback is this. A lot of folks flood to Baltimore because of that, and it creates long lines. I'm telling you, my friends, long lines in security. So those of you that travel, like especially in the morning, they have three terminals, A, B, and C terminal in BWI as well as the international terminal. Now, right now, I've only been doing domestic travel. And what happens is when you go through the security checkpoint, only one security checkpoint is open for the A, B, and C terminal. And I'm telling you, the line will snake back and forth and be out of the turnstiles. And <laughs> you're waiting and this line is like wrapped all the way down to where the C terminal gate is for you to get in. You're like going past bathrooms and up strange hallways just to go through security. Here's the solution though. And I did this recently because let's face it, I almost missed a flight myself. I invested in the TSA pre-check and my friends, this is gold, especially here in Baltimore. I didn't stop the last time I went through security, meaning that they waved me over, saw that I had the pre-check on my boarding pass, Went right up, showed them everything that I needed to, put my stuff on the um, screening machine and zipped right through security. So those of you that travel really need to take that into consideration. If you don't yet have, I'd certainly look into investing into TSA PreCheck. Number five, the bug situation here in Maryland is not good. We've got mosquitoes, I'm gonna tell you, they could be mistaken for small animals. They're so big sometimes. You look at down on your arm and you're seeing this mosquito like puffing its cheeks full of blood as it's sucking it out of you. So those of you that don't like bugs, you may want to really rethink coming to Maryland because not only do we have mosquitoes, we've got ticks and ticks are known to carry Lyme disease. So hikers, campers, be aware of that. We've got stink bugs that within the last decade have really just kind of infiltrated Maryland as well as cicadas. Now, the only good thing about cicadas is they come around once every 17 years and here in 2021, they made their lovely appearance. And you wanna talk about bugs? These bugs are bigger than the size of my thumb. They're massive, okay? And then they're loud and annoying and you just hear this like constant ringing for about three to four weeks while they come around once every 17 years. But I'm telling you, these cicadas, they're really large. So those of you that are freaked out by bugs, you need to know this before making a move here to Maryland and invest in some really, really good bug spray. Let's jump into number six, and that is the cost of living in Maryland. Let's face it, Maryland is a pricey state. That is pretty much known worldwide. And I think it has something to do with our proximity to Washington, DC. So expect to pay about 17 to maybe 20, 22% more in your cost of living in comparison to the national average here in Maryland. Now, the big thing that we really take a jump on is housing. Housing can be up to 40% more than the majority of the US. So in reality, what 
you might get for two, three hundred thousand, say in North Carolina, Texas, or even further, say Arizona, you're going to be sticker shocked to see that it costs you about half a million bucks to get something similar. Right now, the average sales price in the state of Maryland is hovering right around the 340 to 350 range. And in reality, that's a little low because that's in most cases, not really gonna get you a four bedroom, two bath, two car garage, single family home. You're probably looking at a townhome at that price point. Those of you that are looking for something, say 25, 2600 square feet, four bedrooms, two full baths, a half bath, two car garage, you're gonna be paying well over half a million dollars for that. So really take your cost of living and housing cost into consideration when moving to Maryland. Number seven is the education. Many people in the mid to late 90s would move to Maryland because of the education system here in Maryland. We were ranked number one in the entire nation. Now, what's happened is the rest of the nation took notice and started doing what Maryland's doing. The challenge is they started doing it better than us. So with that said, Maryland is no longer the number one school system in the entire nation. And from my research and what I've dove into, and looking at the schools and how they rank up with other states, the highest I saw this ranked was sixth and the lowest was 14th. Now you may, not, you may be thinking, look, that's not so bad. Maryland schools are still great, but when you go from being on the top to falling that far down, it's not that good. Now don't get me wrong. We have great schools here in Maryland, all right? The challenge is there is such a competitive, um, competitiveness to get into those school systems. And what's gonna happen is housing prices get out of control and people start bidding these crazy and astronomical prices just so they can get their child into a great public school system. On the flip side of that, you may wanna consider private schools. In Maryland, we have some of the best private schools in the entire nation and that has held standard pretty much you know, through the test of time here. But if you're relying on public education, you really need to take a, a deep dive into, number one, where you want to live, two, where you're probably going to work, and the public school system that feeds into that. And just really dial deep into those numbers to make sure that school you pick is going to meet your child's educational needs and also your expectations as a parent. If you're finding this video useful, if you would, do me a favor, hit the like button down below, drop a comment in there about what your biggest concern is about moving to Maryland, and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as possible. And if you haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. That way you're going to be alerted every time we put out another video just like this one. Number eight, the road work. The road work in Maryland and improving the roads. I don't know if it's improving if they never get finished, right? <laughs> but the road work never stops. So in number one, I told you about commuting. Well, the road work is the big cause of these commuting delays and why your commute seems to extend. Now, those of you that have, you know, telework agreements and can work from home, do it. I'm telling you, you do not want to get out on these interstates and travel anywhere near like downtown Baltimore or Washington, D.C. State of Maryland has got big projects planned for the Washington Beltway, which is Interstate 495, as well as Interstate 695, which wraps around Baltimore. Now keep in mind, Interstate 95 runs right through Maryland, and Interstate 83 comes out of Baltimore City, heads north, and then you have Interstate 70, which goes out um, the western side of the Baltimore Beltway uh, to the western uh, states in the US. But here's the deal, be prepared, to be sitting in construction traffic, whether that's because of lane expansion or pothole repair, you're gonna be sitting, my friends. So take that into consideration. Number nine, the taxes here in Maryland are ridiculously high. Now, are we as bad as states like California or New York? Nope, but we're right behind them, okay? Our income tax rate isn't too bad. It's at 5.75% right now here as the recording of this video. And quite honestly, you've got that. Our sales tax, 6% property taxes are rising rapidly because values are rising rapidly. And here's the deal with property taxes. They're going to vary depending upon where your home is here in the state. 
In Baltimore City, for example, there's some of the highest property tax rates in the entire state. Now, say you don't want to live in the city. Say you want to move to one of the counties. Cool, you can do that. But inside the counties, they may have local townships that are going to tax you on top of your state property taxes. So really find out more about where you want to live and what the taxes are, because quite honestly, it's an expense that's going to keep on adding up. Now, that's not the end of it because we have a good way of taxing you without calling it a tax. And that's because we have a ton of bridges and tunnels in the state where you're gonna to have to pay tolls to go over them, or you're gonna to have to pay registration fees, like with your vehicle, getting your vehicle registered here in the state of Maryland, you're gonna pay tax on the value of it when you go to register it to get your license plates. You're going to have to pay every two years to get your car environmentally inspected with the emissions test. I mean, these things go on and on. For goodness sake, we have a rain tax here. Yeah, we tax the rain. The heck. So be prepared for a good portion of your budget to go to our friends down in Annapolis, my friends. Number 10, it's the political landscape here in Maryland, and you've got to know about it because it's a big deal. Maryland is traditionally a Democratic state, meaning they're voting for the Democratic Party pretty much all the time. So if you are a conservative, I'm telling you, number one, you're going to struggle here. And if you are thinking about making a move or have to make a move, you probably don't want to live in and around Baltimore or D.C. You probably want to look at something in the county because the rest of the state pretty much votes on the conservative side if you move into one of the counties. Now with that said right now, we are, our state is run by a Republican governor, Larry Hogan. And Larry's done a good job at, quite honestly, appeasing both parties. And I think he's really tightening up his game, quite honestly, because he probably wants to make a presidential run. And quite honestly, Larry, he very well may be good at it because he's gotten <laughs> this state to kind of settle. But again, those of you that are conservatives, you might struggle here in Maryland and want to look someplace further south like Florida or Texas. So there you have it, my friends. Those are the 10 things I really think you got to know and got to be okay with before even considering a move to Maryland. Now, if that move is imminent and coming up here in the future, as I said in the beginning of the video, my team and I, we'd love to help you with that move, but we just need one thing from you. And that's for you to start the conversation by reaching out to us. So again, please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or fan us down with that smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back. We're moving right here to Maryland from Baltimore, down the bay, all the way to the beaches in Ocean City. We got you covered. Till the next video, we'll talk to you later.